Hey, welcome back everyone. Today I'm back at one of my favorite stores, Cabela's. I'm going to go on a camping trip this coming weekend, so I need to stock up on a couple things. And I want to talk about uh, camp sleeping systems. So we're talking about like hammocks and um, sleeping bags, things like that. So let's go check it out. Of course, Royce is with me as always, my little sidekick, my little partner in crime. Well, this is cool. Just walking in the door here and they have these dry storage utility boxes. I always love this kind of stuff for camping, actually. You can kind of fit lots of things in there, especially if you're going canoe camping. This is something that would be really cool. So, you know, think about that. It's kind of not what I came here for, but um, that's neat. Well, we've made it into the store, and today I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about camp sleeping systems. So from sleeping bags, pillows, blankets, mats, uh, and cots. So let's go take a look. Now here's something that's really neat. Let's talk about some sleep systems. So I know some of you guys are going to your hunt camp soon and some are doing fall camping. Um, the ground can get pretty cold and uncomfortable this time of year. So I want to show you like cots are an excellent option um, for when you're camping like that or at your hunt camp. Uh, really comfortable. They tend to be a bit higher price point obviously, um, but they're pretty solidly built um, and they're really cushy. So if you've got back issues, that's another uh, really good um, option for you guys. So I have one cot. I don't really use it all that much. Um, it's basically, um, you know, for sort of longer trips um, when you don't mind the weight. That's the thing. They're great for comfort, um, you know, long-term sleeping solutions at a, a camp or, um, you know, when you're out camping, they're going to be there for a bit of time, but you need a way to transport in. So either by skidoo or by canoe and stuff like that. So um, I really like the cots for comfort but they add a lot of weight and you have to have a great way to bring them in. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of sleeping bags. Um, we'll go over sleeping bags really soon, but one thing I really like is blankets. I specifically like uh, camping with a wool blanket um, and just having really nice pajamas on. But it looks like they have some other options here if you like camping using blankets. Looks like, um, yeah, I didn't even know they sold this kind of stuff, but I guess it's been more popular as people like me just don't like sleeping bags. I mean, I like to rotate around in the bed. Uh, it gets uncomfortable, you get kind of bound up in there. Um, so looks like the Thermo Rest has a bit of a solution here. There's different ones, um, different sizes. They seem like really, really light, which is great. Um, there's this one right here. This one looks like a little heavy duty one, but almost kind of like a pillow if you aren't using it for a blanket. Um, and if you take a look here, this is a, the two person blanket and that's sort of what they look like. So right in here. So that's really neat. Um, got lots of different insulation in there. And that's like the size we're looking at. And it packs in at about a pound, so not all that bad. And pretty easy to kind of, even in a compression sack, bring it down and put it uh, in your backpack. So I definitely like um, the blanket kind of solution. Of course, there's lots of pillows and stuff like that. Um, you can buy commercial pillows. Um, they tend to be a bit more expensive if you take a look right there. But I honestly just sewed my own. I got my own fabric and I just stuffed clothes into it and that's what I use for a pillow. Just a quick look inside. It looks fairly thin. I don't really see an R rating on this to know how good this is in the cold. I like wool a lot better. Um, certainly wool, if it gets wet, uh, you will still be able to survive uh, and you will be able to create some warmth. Whereas with synthetic fabrics, if you get wet, you won't really be able to stay that warm. Well, there's a director's chair if I ever saw one. <laughs> about camp chairs i mean obviously if you're going to your camp and you're there for a while um camp chairs are awesome um but uh boy are they getting bigger or is it just me all right well here we are with the sleeping bags and camp mats so let's talk about mats um so say you don't want to use a um you know one of those cots um you can get a camp mat so back in the day i used to use a little foamy um, those are okay if you're young you don't have back problems or anything like that um, they're really lightweight they pack up really nicely but um, what happens is, you know, they kind of break down over time and they get not very comfortable because a lot of them are tend to be quite thin. They don't have a very high R rating. They can't keep you as warm as say something that's a little bit inflatable or has some insulation to it. So cue these guys right here. I've had a couple of these over the years. I've had, this is a nice thick one actually. This is probably, you know, if you don't mind weight and stuff like that, these kind of mats are my favorite because um, they're big, they're square. You know, you can flip around when you're sleeping or whatnot and you're not going to fall off your little uh, cushion there. Um, but they tend to be heavy. Um, they are expensive, you know, if you look at the price right there, um, but they last, you know, I had one ripped up by a bear, um, but, uh, you know, they, they are pretty sturdy. They have some insulation inside, a little bit of like foam or something, and they have this like nice, um, um, you know, cover on them. The alternative are these inflatables. Um, so this right here, you're going to get, um, probably a little bit more expensive there. Uh, you can see, well, no, we don't equal expensive here at Cabela's, um, but they, uh, they're easy to transport. 
flaw them, you can inflate within like, you know, under 20 breaths, which is great. Uh, and they are waterproof. So I have a few of these. I really don't like the ones like this um, that have like the body shape to them. I don't know if you guys see that. Um, oops, let's take that out. Um, so it does have that kind of like little like foamy that I kind of like and it self inflates, but I don't like the ones that are uh, the body imprint. I, I don't know, I just roll around too much and I fall off of them. So I really don't like that as part of my sleep system. Now this one looks super deluxe, really expensive. Uh, this is probably like a two person mat. Again, if you're on a big canoe trip or a hunting trip, um, you know, you have the ability to carry in heavy stuff like this. That'd probably be your best option. That'd be my favorite. Um, taking a look at sleeping bags here. There's lots of different options. Again, if you're backpacking, you want light camping, you're going to want something that's uh, really light, compresses really easily. Uh, and in colder temperatures, you probably want a mummy bag so that you can um, enclose your head, you know, in there. That'd be really nice. But again, I don't know if I like this body shape. I don't know about you guys, but I again twirl around I don't sit there like I'm in a coffin or something <laughs> so I find these really restrictive I'm not a huge fan so you'll see here the sleeping bags do have a rating so this one goes down to minus one it's a Bass Pro Shops brand uh, nice and soft in there a lot of them have synthetic fill um, I like the goose down fill to be honest I think it's really really warm um, so what these ratings are it's not gonna tell you that you're gonna feel amazingly comfortable uh, down to minus one uh, basically it's kind of like you know you're gonna survive in this bag at minus one you may not be 100% comfortable um, but you won't feel too, too bad. Um, some bags really aren't all that breathable, I find. Uh, so try to stick to, you know, as best as you can to some of the natural things. Hence why I like, you know, wool blankets and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, you can get sleeping bag liners for these sleeping bags. And that will help you out a lot. Um, you know, if you want to air them out after you're camping. But the liners also help absorb any kind of sweat. You have like a silk liner or, you know, cotton liner that's more breathable. So I have one of those. It also extends the uh, rating of the sleeping bag. You can buy them that, uh, you know, that will extend the rating by maybe like 10 degrees or something like that. So adds obviously to your gear, but uh, pretty nice. So yeah, you know, lots of different ones. A square shape I kind of like if I'm going to use a sleeping bag because you can bring them out into a blanket. So, uh, but again, they're really big. And I mean, this is definitely not backpacking material. This is probably going to your, your camp or whatnot. You know, either stays there or goes with you on your ATV or your snow machine or, or you know, in through your canoe so you don't have to carry it all on your back. There we are. There's different uh, sleeping bags. And there's a big old guy right there. These are, this is a big old one right here. Familiar with these ones. Boy, are they ever warm, but really, really heavy and quite expensive too. Sometimes too, the lighter you get, the more expensive they get because the technology is a little bit more. But, uh, Anyways, um, so uh, yeah, these guys, these are great. These are like, these are definitely camp material. So another thing to talk about are hammocks. Um, I have hammock camped in all different kinds of weather, um, you know, spring, winter, fall, um, and they're really awesome. Uh, I just got a cheap hammock from Costco, to be honest with you. Um, and with that, uh, especially in winter, you can use those under quilts. I have my under quilt from Amazon, um, but you can buy them at any major retailer like this. Um, they're really comfy. Um, obviously, if a bad back, they're not amazing because obviously your back can kind of go into a little bit of a banana shape and that's not uh, great. Um, but, uh, you know, they're they're great and they're very portable, they're very light and you can take them easily on a backpacking trip or on your canoe trip. This is one of, uh, one of my favorite sections of the store, the uh, cast iron section. Like, which piece of equipment do I need? <laughs> Probably the answer is no. Um, but look at that. Mm, yummy. Can you imagine like Yorkshire puddings in that? That would be amazing. It's a really cool recipe with the Yorkshire pudding and uh, you know, like hamburger and stuff like that. Oh boy, that's going to be awesome. So lots of different things here for camping, but that's, uh, I don't think I'm going to get that here today. I'm looking for um, kind of a camp grill. Wow, these are pretty smart. Some good sales on right now at Cabela's as well. Take a look. Oh, I thought this said 49 for a second. No, it's uh, 189. <laughs> Those look really cool. And this weekend it's going to rain, so I need my new rain pants. My rain pants are all like ripped up and torn to shreds and are leaking. So these look good, and this is like a good sale actually. So I think I'm going to get these. So we can't forget about our furry friend's sleeping arrangements while we're camping or at hunt camp. So there's some crates there for overnight safety. Um, you know, Royce just sleeps in the tent, no problem. Um, what we've got here are, um, you know, I don't, I put a wool blanket down for Royce, but if it's cool, um, you can certainly buy uh, these little beds, uh, these little um, fabric, you know, it's kind of like, little mat like that it's too small for him but uh, there's those there's like the bigger beds right there and of course uh there's these um, kind of blankets right here dog blanket but look at the price on that <laughs> no thank you um so anyway um so that's uh something you can, I mean, this gosh i could probably use this but 
Um, I'm not going to pay that price for it, unfortunately. So there's that. Uh, and there's even now, uh, if you look, this is kind of crazy, but there's actually um, sleeping bags uh, for dogs now. I mean, I don't know, there's large, I guess, but they're, they're about as expensive as a human uh, sleeping bag. Um, I think they probably have some waterproof and you can feel kind of like a bit of a base to them, as you can see here. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, ugh, I, I've never in a million years think they would make sleeping bags for dogs, but I guess they're part of the family in a very significant way. So um, there we go. They have their own sleeping bags now. Well, another successful trip here. I've got my rain pants. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in today to learn about uh, sleep systems for, you know, camping. So if you have any questions down below, uh, let me know. And uh, tell me, what's your favorite setup for your camping trip when it comes to sleeping? Uh, you have a great week, guys. Take care.